Expect bright sunshine and a few clouds on Thursday, a bit cooler and breezy. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldridge, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, all is quiet in East Tennessee. Some river flooding, as indicated by those little green little boxes, rectangles across Georgia. That's what they've had, quite a bit of rain and some flash flooding down there. They've been sliced by thunderstorms across Florida today. Got more thunderstorms in the Gulf of Mexico and emerging on the other side in the Atlantic. Meanwhile, there have been a couple of tornadoes today in southern Georgia. You say that's wild. What, really? A couple of tornadoes? The first one down to the south around 1235 in Clinch County, Georgia. Uh, damaged trailers and sheds, snapped pine trees, some real issues there. Further north at 213, a few hours later, around Bristol, Georgia, Pierce County, Georgia, there was a damage or two to some sheds. So tornado reported there, tornado in South Georgia. They had active weather across much of the Peach State down to the south of us. Meanwhile, the snow lives on, winter lives on across Iowa, Minnesota, parts of Wisconsin, spinning like a top. We move further east, they've got more mixing uh, in pink, northern parts of New York State. Some rain, some sleet, freezing rain, and changing more to a uh, icy mix across parts of Canada, while winter weather advisories persist around New Hampshire and parts of New England. Meanwhile, the Ultima Doppler radar presented by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair uh, with five convenient locations. They've been around since 1953. If you need an oil change, need maybe a new set of tires, check them out. Uh, but all is quiet on the radar tonight. Meanwhile, the estimates, these are the storm totals, the Doppler estimates for rain. Anywhere from a half inch to an inch to two inches or more occurred across the last couple of days. I can tell you the official number from Knoxville McGee Tyson was 0 .70 yesterday, followed by 0 .66 today brought us a grand total of an inch and a third, 1.36 officially at McGee Tyson Airport. When we talk about our temperatures, I point this out, we did have a warm day, but nothing like the 75 record high we had yesterday. Yesterday, 75, today 66. That's what I was expecting. 48, the normal high, record high 72 from 1950. We saw a high of 67 in Oak Ridge, 68 Teleco Plains, and 68 in Sevierville, as well as a really warm day in Athens, too, in the upper 60s. But look at that, 65 Nashville, only 59 today in Memphis. So cooler weather will eventually advance into our neck of the woods. Tracking the clouds, mostly clear tonight. More high clouds are partly cloudy later on tonight as some of those clouds begin to move in. But it does turn colder. We focus the snow this evening in Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Watch the cold air associated with that diving down to the Ohio Valley and, dare I say, Tennessee Valley by late tomorrow night into Friday morning. That's when we could see some flakes fly for the Smokies, for southwest Virginia, southeast Kentucky, and even southern West Virginia. Not a big deal. But it's something we'll watch all the same. And then the cold air will begin to retreat and some of the warmer air will try and replace it. So we'll be kind of caught in the middle of the two extremes, at least going into Monday of next week. So probably closer to average. I want to point out the flash flooding that's occurred across Georgia. Mentioned some of the snow reports, pretty amazing snow reports across parts of Minnesota. How many did we get here? 11 inches. Is that all? Well, that's a two day total. Uh, that's not fair. That's two days. OK, two days, 11 inches, uh, about five and a half here. Uh, looks like 5.1 here. Uh, this is Burnett County, Wisconsin. So you've got some snow, very sizable snows across parts of the Upper Plains states. Bright sunshine, few clouds Thursday, part of your headlines. Mountain snowflakes move in Thursday night, Friday morning, and then more sunshine on Friday, but much cooler, as I think will stop in the upper 40s for highs on Friday. Now, the future cast really kind of highlights that at least the potential for some snowflakes. Again, all you need is a few extra clouds, bring in some cold air. We may see it, may not get anything, obviously, until very late Thursday night. Here is 2.30. Friday morning, and it puts a few snowflakes around Charleston, West Virginia, possibly Beckley, moves it down it moves it down into parts of maybe the Tri-Cities by 5.30 in the morning, 6.30, and then it gets a little crazy, maybe by 8, 9, uh, not, not a whole lot. Well, okay, there's something. All right, all right, I, I'll grant you that. Maybe Harlan County could see a few flakes flying around. Uh, 10.30 in the morning, a couple of snowflakes, and then it tries to retreat by midday. So if that verifies, happy happy day. But uh, for those who are on Team Snow, you're looking for something a little more meatier, uh, something a little, a little more teeth to it. Uh, that is certainly not it. And this warm front, depending on its track, could produce not only some rain, but maybe some wet snow, as some models are still indicating we'll be watching Saturday very closely. But some rain is in that forecast. So for tonight, 40 degrees. Mostly clear, giving way to partly cloudy or high clouds, winds 3 to 8 plus. 
Many of us will wake up into the 30s. If you're in Wartburg, 36. Lafawet, 38. Middlesbrough, 35. But if you're in Knoxville, Maryville, Alcoa, even Teleco Plains, you'll be closer to 40. Thursday's high, about 55. Maybe the, what's the old saying? I can't drive 55. Well, we can probably won't get much higher than 55 tomorrow. Bright sunshine, a few clouds, and the winds gusting around 25 miles per hour, particularly in the afternoon. I'll call that breezy. But we had a 34 mile an hour gust today, uh, which was a little breezy here on Wednesday. 56 for a high in La Follette, Campbell County. Expecting a high of 58 in Teleco Plains, 56 in Kingston, 53 in Wartburg for your afternoon high. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee. Colder sunshine on Friday, a high of only 48. Most of the flakes we see Thursday night Friday will be in the Smokies, higher terrain. Saturday, some rain, wet snow. Depends on how quickly we get that moisture in here because I've got us down to 33. And some of us in uh, maybe Campbell County, perhaps maybe uh, into Claiborne County or even Hancock County could see some wet snow. We'll be watching that closely, but I think the warmer air will eventually win the day Sunday where it's just rain showers, 60% chance. Then we pull it back dry on Monday and bring in some showers and mountain snowflakes on Tuesday. But it'll be interesting to see as we get closer to the middle of the month, a pattern change could return and someone will say, I didn't see that coming. That's why I always urge you to download the Captain Accurate Weather app and also consider joining the premium side, which is also on Facebook. More on that on CaptainAccurate.com. By the way, in the meantime, the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels traffic, it's free. Go to the App Store, Google Play, simply search the two words Captain Accurate and it will magically appear. So happy that you're here. My name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate. So weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care. Oh, my God.